Hi everybody, it's Fred Hassan with Sit Mean Sit Dog Training with your video of the day. Today I'm going to show you how to have good fundamentals in a hunting dog puppy. None of us like sloppy sit whistles, so let me show you how to start it off clean. I use a round horse watering bowl and I drop some food into it initially. Now watch how square this puppy's going to move when I send him on an overcast. I'm going to move to a different spot too after I send him in that bowl and I'm going to verbally tell him to sit and he's going to turn, sit squarely right and look at me. Same exact thing now except with the whistle. In goes the food. I'll call him right to a front with me. Step back. Over, overcast. Move. Whistle. Sit. Turn. Alright, this is the same as a sit in motion, but for the hunting dog, the picture is different with the whistle. You're on the side as opposed to from a different angle looking at the front. Here it is from a different, from a different perspective. To the dog, all these different angles are different. I'm making him very thorough from the beginning with his sit whistle and that he is right in place. Again, it can be used for AKC obedience as well. This is a puppy marking drill I use. I'm using a frisbee. You can use a variety of objects. The dog's learning to use his body and being very aware of his body when he turns evenly. He's also learning the difference between heel means look at me and mark means look at the object. In a blind, you may want him looking at you or paying attention to you. Mark is an entirely different command that I do with a remote to just get him zeroed in on the object. Then I send him, bring him back, and whistle sit him. It also brings in a straight return. Here it is from a different angle, having him steady, so I throw it and he stays. He's learning to move with his feet, having him heal. Telling him to mark, now watch this, his foot comes out a little bit, but I'm teaching him with that remote, no, you need to stay right in that box, and you need to mark means to sit there and look at it. I don't want him to break it until I tell him to break. So, since he's got that little bit of his mind, having him heel, look, turn, mark, but this time, I'm just going to walk out and pick it up, just to show him that I didn't send him, I may be picking it up. All right, so till tomorrow, sit means sit.